it is officially 17 days to the kickoff of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. My name is Ashalelu Afeme, and I welcome you to Sport Africa. Of course, it is a daily countdown on the show. And of course, we had to interrupt our regular uh, no recording to bring you a daily countdown to this, um, uh, the biggest footballer showpiece on the continent. James Agbrebi and Kyle Degundare, they are here. Of course, we've been together all throughout the journey, and it is 17 days to wow. that game. Of course, welcome, guys. Kyle and James, you're welcome to the show. Thank you, Mami Femi. It's a pleasure, as always. Yeah, thank you, Mami Femi. Happy to be here again. Okay, I remember yesterday on Boxing Day, Kyle, they talk about uh, Zambia. Uh, when we were talking about the DR Congo precisely, and he was saying that uh, um, that uh, uh, DR Congo might likely even give Zambia a run uh, for their money in, in, in terms of picking a ticket in Group F. And today, of course, we'll be going to the camp of the Chipolopolo of uh, Zambia. And uh, if you look at the record, of course, uh, they're currently being handled by former Chelsea and um, you know, a Black Stars coach, Abraham Grant. And uh, they've made um, um, 18 African appearances. You know, the first was in 1974. And they remember that 2012 when, against all expectations, they went ahead and won it under on, on Javier Renan. Uh, let's look at it, um, uh, 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 James. Okay, I'll start with Kyle Day. Uh, Kyle Day, um, they have a very, a very hugely experienced manager in the presence of uh, uh, Abraham Grant. Like I said, his pedigree uh, is a resume. And if you look at it, it's also rich, equally rich. When you've taken Chelsea to the final of um, uh, the Champions League, lost on penalties to Manchester United. And of course, you've taken also the Black Stars to the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. It means uh, you have uh, something to uh, to offer. L l let's see. And if you look at um, their progression since Avagram took over, it's been very impressive. As a matter of fact, they are the 2023 winners of the Kosovo uh, uh, Nature Challenge Cup, the, the, the sub regional uh, title. They've won it five times now. And this year again, they've won it. It seems that uh, there is something about uh, Zambia that everyone needs to be aware of at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. Um, then first, let me talk about the coach, and I don't mean this as as a form of disrespect. But there, there, there's these insinuations in certain quarters that he's not like too good a coach. I remember uh, there was this joke going around in his days at uh, Chelsea that uh, they call him instead of Avram Grant, they call him Average Grant. And as I could tell that a, a recent interview that Mika Obi did on his podcast, he made the same reference to you. I don't know whether you, you saw that podcast. Uh, but having said that, he probably could be a better coach at, at national level. But the thing about not being quick to judge that team by the Akosava Cup victory is the fact that they played that Kosafa with a with the usually home based team. Now integrating the foreign based players into that team could be a sort of a problem. Uh, I quite know so a number of the Zambian players very very closely. Very me. Uh, don't forget that uh, four years ago now, no five years ago when they were trying to qualify for the. World Cup, World Cup. played a game against Nigeria. They camped in Ghana. I was in their camp and I interacted with them at close quarters. I saw them, a group of young players. The manager at that time, unfortunately, is no longer the manager, which is unfortunate. That's one of the problems we have in Africa, Femi. I you, hope... you should have continued. Yeah, I do, because I saw him work at close quarters, Femi, over a period of uh, about a week. And I could tell you, Femi, that I saw the the very bold ideas that he had as a coach. I, I wish many more African countries would go the Senegal way by swimming or sinking with their coaches, with their managers. That will help the managers to make mistakes, learn from their mistakes and grow on the job. Now most of those, play, those players are no longer in this team. They are no longer in this team. And I'm talking about the likes of uh, Fashion Sakala, uh, uh, Gift Nwepu, the boy are passing Dhaka, all of them, they were very young boys, I think 18, 19 at that time. They played a good game and I, I was pleasantly surprised. But now the fact is you cannot say that about this team. Uh, they still remain a very, very unknown quantity, like I said. We hope they are able to, to shock themselves and surprise the rest of Africa. But uh, I would wait to see their first two games I mean, before making a definitive, uh, definitive pronouncement, uh, pronouncement on how far I think they can go. Mm. Uh, 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 James, it, it, the, with the concerns that Kyle Day has raised, 
one would want to think that um, if a coach new to the team has been able to gather quality uh, home base players and they went on to win the Kosovo Championship, these are the same set of players that he mixed with the uh, foreign base players and they qualify for the AFCON once again. Don't you think that um, we might likely see uh, a, a resurging uh, a Chipolopolo of Zambia in Cote d'Ivoire? Yes, um, it's possible because at least it's, uh, you see the intent in him, you know, um, winning the Kosafa, like you said, it's just a regional competition. I cannot compare it with the AFCON, but at least it goes to show that uh, there's progression, you know, and now mixing the players with the foreign based players, you know, so, uh, you know, they're able to qualify, you know, they play together and they're able to qualify for the, for next year's AFCON, you know, so, I mean, I uh, should be expecting much from them, not overwhelming favorites, but at least it's one of the teams that if they go out of the group stage, you're going to take a very good team to stop them. Because one thing I've realized about this Zambian team, they're a very dangerous side. You know, they're always a dangerous team to play against. They will give you a difficult game. You also what they did to the Super Eagles in 1994 at AFCON final. It was, it was hell for the Super Eagles. They just took experience and... Um, individual brilliance to just keep that exam. Imagine the team that lost almost a whole generation of players in the previous year, still went all the way to the final. Got to the semi-final in 1996 also, before they now eventually won it. So winning it was in 2012 was just a matter of it was, it was deserving because they've been around. They've been there. In 1990, the Super Bowl stopped them in the semi-final in all years. You know, that's the team that, um, like I said, they are a dangerous side to play against. If that opening is there, they're going to take advantage of it and they're going to go all the way. I, I think we we'll just, well, we'll just have to judge them from their performance in the group stage. Anything that makes them go out from the group stage, Femi, is going to be a tough call for anything that's going to come up against them. Because fine, Abraham Grant is not your your everyday kind of coach that, uh, that is not that coach that a lot of people rank very highly. But I don't think he has done badly for himself. For somebody who took Chelsea to their first ever final, something that even the great Uzi Moro could not manage. In the first uh, stint, it took them all the way to the final, if not for uh, the John Terry's um, penalty miss. <laughs> he would have gathered Chelsea to, the, to, 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 to win their first ever Champions League final. Took Ghana to the final in 2015. Unfortunately, nerves um, kicked in against Cote d'Ivoire and in the penalty shooter that they were ahead, they just lost it. So he has just been unfortunate. But it doesn't take away the fact that he's a, he's a, he's a good coach. He might not be the, in the mode of the, um, uh, what is it called, the uh, Guardiola, Tamori, but okay. he is a decent coach. And we bring something out from this team, especially if they get out of that group stage. Femi, look out for this Zambian team. They're going to be very difficult to handle. I think I will agree with you. I, I can't, guys, please, we have to quickly manage time. Uh, but we have two questions that we also need to also answer before we leave. Uh, uh, Kyle, uh, Abraham Grant is an unlucky man. Would you say, would you say he's an unlucky man? Champions League final, AFCON final, he hasn't won um, anything. There's this, uh, this um, Nessus syndrome kind of. But this time, do you think um, he might likely just do something extraordinary that no one ever saw coming? Because even when he took Ghana to the final of the AFCON, I'm not sure anyone wrote that story before it happened. Well, I'm the wrong person to ask that kind of question about being unlucky because I, <laughs> I always say you make your own luck. Yeah, once it goes to penalties, it is out of your hands. Absolutely. You could have done something better in the course of 90 minutes or even one train, uh, the extra 30 minutes. If you fail to do that and you now come to lament that, oh, after all, we lost some penalties, that for me does not cut it. You could have done something. Make your own luck. So... Yeah, I, yeah, we we could look at 2008 with Chelsea and 2015 with Ghana and say, well, it could have gone either way. Yeah, but it did not. It did not. So that's what we have to live with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, James. As a wrap up now, um, if you look at a message, consistent message that Ram Ghana has continually sent to uh, the chief of the pool of, of Zambia players is that quality. He has issued a warning that any of them that is not in a the best physical condition, best physical shape for the AFCON will not make his final uh, uh, AFCON list. James, is that a hit or a miss for you? In terms it's of a discipline? hit, it's a hit. The Zambia team that won the AFCON in 2012. For I me, mean, one thing that should have led to their physical, their fitness was out of this world. They were very, very fit. They were very, very athletic. They, you check out all the teams they played against heavyweights. They defeated Ghana. They defeated Kodova with all the stuff they did. 
Yaya Toure and what have you. So that is not, you know what he's saying, you need physical fit players, players who are ready to run for 90 or 120 minutes, you know, to, to win the AFCON. No, but like I said, you will never win the AFCON by chance or by luck. You know, you never have your, your, your own path. You must see that you, it was deserved, you won it, um, you deserved it to, to win it. And that's what he did in 2012. You know, so he, he knows that that's one of the components that must be in place if they stand any chance of winning the AFCON. Mm. Of course, Avragan is a gentleman because I know that he must have been confronted with some criticism uh, directed at him, uh, not by Mikel Obi, uh, when he was at Chelsea. But uh, he's a gentleman. I'm sure he will just shrug the questions off. Guys, thank you for your uh, thoughts on the show today. Thank you so much for our daily candle. Thank you very much, Femi. See you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Femi. Okay, so please. Tell someone to tell someone to subscribe to this channel because, of course, the journey is just beginning. Remember, AFCON, tomorrow it will be 16 days to the kickoff. Before you know, we'll be talking about us. But even in the midst of the competition, of course, we'll be taking you into, you know, the, 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 the news analysis that you wouldn't even seen on the mainstream media. And that is why we are here on Sports Africa. So please tell someone to tell someone to subscribe. It's still 16 days to go and so much more to discuss in our daily countdown. We'll see you all tomorrow. I remember Chalula Fermi. Tomorrow, we'll be going into the camp of another uh, national team to see how they're preparing for the AFCON. Bye for now. <laughs>